Hey y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith, and for today's video, we're going to do a 2020 bullet journal flip through. Now, I know this video is coming a little bit late. A lot of people started uploading these back in early December, actually, and that is when I started working on mine. But if you watch my last video, you'll see kind of where I've been, what's been going on, and why I was not able to get to this until now. So, I'm not going to be drawing the layouts for you. I'm just going to be doing a flip through and showing you why I chose these layouts and what layouts I chose for my 2020 bullet journal. Also, I digitally bullet journal. I this is not this is this is an iPad. This is not a physical book. Um because I like to be as low waste as possible. And for me, that means digitally bullet journaling and there I and I will talk to you a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages of doing your bullet journal digitally but for me this works just great and it might work for you so grab a cup of coffee and we're gonna get started open this up and you can see I've just got one Stylus here, that's the first benefit to digitally bullet journaling. You don't need pen lots of pencils and markers, just one stylus. My iPad is not Apple Pencil compatible. I will hopefully be upgrading this year to one that is, but for now I just have any old stylus that works just fine. Okay, I use an app called GoodNote. It is basically the digital journaling app you can have for the price of one journal about 10 bucks you can have unlimited amounts of journals and you can see I've kind of got two 2020s here because I've already started filling out one because it is already 2020 so I was able just to make a duplicate erase my personal information to show y'all instead of having to black out or cover up stuff that most um, people would have to do in a physical journal so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my 2020 bullet journal. All right, so to start, I had never made one of those, I had never made a title with the circle with all the flowers and stuff, so that's what I did for my 2020 journal. Best part about 2020 is that every time I write it, just to make it look nice and clean and the same, I can just write the, I can just take the first 2020, copy it, and paste it anywhere, resize it as needed. There you go, I have a 2020, I have a 20, I can just copy paste. Now I have two 20s that look the exact same. Move it around, I can resize it, and I can erase it just like that. So this is my 2020 cover page. On the second page, I just have a chart dividing up the pages just to make it a little bit easier. So when I started using GoodNote two, two years ago-ish, there actually, there wasn't any dotted pages presets in the app. So I had found a PDF of a bullet journal page and downloaded it into GoodNote and I was using that as my page. In the, either the last update or the update before that, GoodNote added a bunch of new covers and a bunch of new pages and bullet pages were one of those because so many people were using GoodNote for their bullet journal which I was super excited about that made that just a little bit easier but I just have the pages divided I just have this page divided out so I can refer back to it when I'm drawing new pages on my third page I have a key now some people might have noticed I have skipped the index that is because GoodNote has an index already for me. I can see all of my pages. I can just scroll, look for the page that I want. If I wanted to, I could go into each of these numbers and I could name the page and I could put it over here in the outline, but it seems like an unnecessary step for me because I can literally see the pages that I want to click on, which is super nice. So we're going to go back into that third page. This is just my simple key page. And you'll also notice that I did a full black and white spread because I do prefer a more minimalist bullet journal although if you take a look here I can pretty much 
draw with any color I want. Same with the highlighter, I can pretty much highlight with whatever color I want. I'm just gonna keep this on the lasso tool though so I can grab things and show you. You can also insert pictures, text boxes, and really do a lot with this. So the next page, I just have a bunch of different fonts that I've drawn out that I can refer back to when I'm drawing new pages. Um, I left tons of room so that I left tons of room over here so that I can draw more fonts throughout the year as I get more ideas. These are just a few that I these are just a few that I went ahead and did at the beginning. On this next page, I have my 2020 goals. So there's four main areas that I really want to focus on this year. The first one being health. And again, if you watched my last video about going to the ER over Thanksgiving and all of the shit that I've been going through with that, you'll understand why health is my number one priority in 2020. And I can, I have all of this space to kind of fill out. I've left a few things filled out already just so you can kind of see how I'm using it. Under work, I have my new upload schedule and I'm gonna put a few other goals in there that I have for 2020. Personal is gonna be stuff like routines and my home because we are moving in about a month which I'm super excited about. And the amount, I wanna read 12 books this year and then financial, I've left that blank. On the next page, I have my ideal day. And so, and so my partner and I have both set up our ideal days. He doesn't bullet journal, he much prefers to use notes and reminders and Evernote for his planning. I just prefer to be able to handwrite stuff. This is gonna be, this is my ideal day and we can compare our ideal days to try and help each other reach those goals. The next day is the cleaning schedule. Things that need to be cleaned daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly, bi-annually, and annually. I have not filled anything out for annually, that, annually yet because I haven't come up really with anything for annually yet. We'll see in our new apartment we'll have We'll have a bigger apartment in our new place, so there might be some stuff that needs to go under that category, but nothing that I've come up with yet. I really want to know what other people's cleaning schedules are because I love to have a clean home, but it is also very hard to keep up with. And actually, one of my goals of 2020 that I put on my vision board is a shark robot vacuum because not having to clean the, not having to worry about cleaning the floors which is like the biggest area to clean would be just such a time saver and be so amazing. That is one thing that I really, really want for 2020. And on the next page, and on the next page, I have my self care routine, which is pretty much my skincare routine. It's not really like the stuff that I do for myself. Basically I am an introvert, so I love to be alone and my self care is, my Mondays all to myself, all alone. This is just a bit of like the different things that I want to do in the every day in the morning, the evening, and then on Sundays, my partner and I do self-care Sundays where we do face masks and all of the extra skincare, hair care stuff that needs to be done throughout the week or that needs to be done to keep us healthy and happy and glowing. And then anytime I do a cute little yoga mat right here because I can work out any time of day. I can meditate any time of day. Flow refers to hula hooping, poi, any of my, any of my more festival centric physical activity. On the next page, I have a budget overview. And so I have, I have, monthly account ending. So this is going to be how much is in my checkings account and how much is in my savings account at the end of every month. So I can keep track of how much money I have left over after bills and after buying anything else to make sure I'm keeping enough money in my account for rent on that first. And then down below, I have a chart that will show my what I've spent and what I've earned. Over here, it's just the amount of money, and I will basically have this looking something like this for spent, how much I spent every week, and then how much I earned 
to try and make sure that I'm always earning more than I spend. So let's go ahead and delete that so that it's ready for the new year, ready for me to fill in. And this is just all 52 weeks of the year. I get paid every other week, so while I'll have a dot for every week of spending, I'll have a dot for every other week of income. So I can also monitor how much I'm earning because sometimes I work tons of overtime and other times I work barely 30 hours. It really just depends on how busy my restaurant is. On the next page, I have a couple of charts. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know exactly what else I wanna do with this page. That's why I've left this area open right here. I might do some more with like financial goals or charts, but I have all of my bills, the amount due and what day of the month, whether that's for like rent on the first, for when my car loan is due, my student loans are due, all of that kind of stuff. So I can always refer back here and see exactly how much money I need to have in my account by what day. And then down here, I have a little chart showing doctors, annuals, just like what type of doctor, what their name is, because I'm really bad with names and I'll forget so like, so that I'm able to make a new appointment with the right doctor. I will write down their names right here. In this category, just whenever my last appointment with that doctor was, whenever my next appointment is, and then any follow-up appointments that I need to do within the year. So this category might not be filled up by the end of the year, it really just depends on, you know, my health and what's going on. This chart is very important to me right now because of everything that happened, everything that I talked about in my last video. So if you don't know what's going on, go watch that video. On the next page, I have my future log. Six months of my future logs. It's actually gonna take up the next two pages. I have all of the American holidays, all of the Wiccan holidays, that's why I have Stuff like this. I have all of the full moons, all of that kind of stuff. And then I'll add different important dates throughout the year as needed. So I can refer back to this when I'm writing my weekly. All right, and this is my first weekly for 2020. I don't write dailies, I do a weekly. Um, and I've only seen a few people, I've only seen this done either for yearly or monthly things. I haven't really seen it done very much for weekly, although I did see one person do it as a weekly and that's why and that's why I started doing it because I really liked the way they did it and I will link that video below if I can find it but a little bit of how you use this is you can write down your task so I have film my bullet journal I'm gonna need to edit this video Say I'm filming on a Wednesday, I'm gonna put a dot there, draw a line to that, and since I've already started filming it, I'll put a dash. Obviously when I finish filming, I'll put an X. Let's say I want to, I want to edit tomorrow, so I will put a dot there, and I will not draw that line, I will wait, because I might have to stay late at work and come home and not have time to edit, so then I can just draw a dot on the next day when I do start editing, or whenever I do plan to start editing, when I do start editing, I'll draw that line and I'll exit through when I'm done or just a line when I have started it. What I really love about this weekly is that I only have to write down my tasks. I only have to write down all of my tasks once throughout the week. So let's say I want to, let's say I want to do all of these things this week, but on, and I want to do them on a Tuesday, but I work late, but I end up working late. So I have to push those tasks to Wednesday on a regular, like, on a regular daily, I would have to migrate those tasks every day, every day that I wanted to do them. But on the weekly, I only have to write them once. I don't have to worry about migrating them unless they move to the next week. And this can just keep going down with all of my task list for the week or my notes or whatever I want to write down here. And then I have a little log right here that shows that shows me exactly what day I did that task on or what day that I am planning to do that task on. And then down here in the corner, I have my meals. I always have a little box in the corner that has whatever my meal prep is for that week. I meal prep for my boyfriend and I for dinner and we, I usually do two different meals to choose from. 
So this week we did potato leek soup and TVP tacos for our dinners. And whenever I need to do a new page or a new weekly, this is not a preset amount of pages. I just drag and pull and ta-da, I have a brand new page that I can start my next weekly or my next spread on. If I do a spread here that let's say has to do with money, I don't have to leave it here in my bullet journal and mark exactly what page it's on and then flip to it every time I wanna look at my money. I can literally drag and drop it right there and now it's the page right after my budget page. So that is one of the perks of doing a digital bullet journal. You can also delete pages, move pages around, add as many pages as you need. Um, you can rotate pages so that you have some that are facing sideways. So those are just some of the benefits of having a digital bullet journal. Some of the drawbacks is you can't really do watercolors, but there is a way around that. You could do a physical watercolor and then just take a picture of it and put that picture right in to your bullet journal. So I could take a picture of this whole setup that I have right here with the candle. It's a little bit blurry, but we'll go ahead and use it. And I can just insert that right into my bullet journal. I can resize it, turn it, whatever. So there are ways around some of those things that you can do with a physical bullet journal that you might not be able to do with a digital bullet journal, but honestly, I prefer a more minimalist bullet journal. I just need it to tell me what I need to do and tell me how to get it done. And that's really all I need. I, I do not like to spend a ton of time on my weeklies, but I did spend quite a lot of time on setting up these spreads, but one of the things I love about digital bullet journals is that I can start anywhere on the page. I can start drawing something over here. I can just, boop, let's say I, that was in work, I need it to be in health. I can just move it, boop, right up there. So that is one thing I do love about digital bullet journaling. I can start anywhere and really most people plan out their pages before they put them in their journal and they draw them in pencil and whatnot. I just go for it. I get to just start drawing, erase what I don't want, move around what needs to be where and make things line up. Also, there is a straight line tool. So if you're a regular bullet journaling, if you're using a physical bullet journal, you have to use a ruler to make straight lines. I can click this little guy right here and now I can do straight lines, squares, rectangles, just whatever I need, circles, and they all come out fixed and <laughs> perfect, which is super helpful for me. So that is my 2020 digital bullet journal flip through. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you want to learn a little bit more of how I use my digital bullet journal, how I, how I use GoodNote and a little bit more about this app or anything like that. And I can go into a little bit more detail on exactly how you, how the writing tools work and the different tools within this app work. But that is it for my 2020 spreads. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And subscribe to this channel. Turn on post notifications. I know I won't be posting as much this year as I did last year. But I hope you understand. I hope you, I hope you will still stick with me through dealing with all of this health stuff. And I will see you guys next time with our first recipe video of 2020. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see something specific. And I will see you guys next time. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye, y'all.